In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit easily and fast a multi-camera shoot using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll be specifically editing a free camera shoot that I did for our church service. So without taking much time, let's get right into it. What's up guys, my name is Sam from Rap Production Tips and Tools and let's go straight uh, to Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically what I'm gonna show you is how I easily uh, simplify the editing process for a multi-camera shoot using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me go, let me just uh, show you a little quick. Uh, usually this is uh, something that we'll get at the end. Okay, so this is my timeline and we've got three cameras. Okay, this is camera one. Okay, let me play from camera one and switch to camera two and three just to give you an idea, okay? Verset 7 qui dit... Let's read it together en français. Nous allons le lire ensemble en français. C'est par la foi que Noé, divinement averti des choses qu'on ne voyait pas encore et saisi d'une crainte respectueuse, construisit une arche pour sauver sa famille. All right. So as you can see, I have three cameras, okay? That was camera one. This is camera one, and then camera two, and then camera three, okay? And as you can see on my timeline, I only have, uh, I mean, not one clip, but like one track. Okay, so I don't have any like uh, this kind of um, three tracks, uh, one on the top of the other, right? Um, something like this. So I don't have something like this, even though I have three cameras. Okay, so that's the trick I'm gonna show you. So, but for this project, I'm using three cameras. I'm using a G7, Lumix G7. I'm using uh, Lumix GX85 and I'm using uh, Lumix G85, okay? So I have all my footage here and this is my audio. So basically we usually take our audio from the mixer. So we're not using the audio from the camera. So the audio is separate, okay? So everything's loaded in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new uh, sequence, okay? I uh, usually use 1080p, 30 frames per second, and let's call it uh, multi cam editing. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to camera one, okay, which is the G85. It's my main camera, okay. And I'm gonna choose the clip that I specifically want, okay? This is the clip that I want, okay? So I'm gonna drag it to my timeline, okay? And then I'm gonna go to the camera number two, which is G GX85, okay? And this is the clip that I want to use. So I'm gonna drag it to the timeline as well. And then I'm gonna go to camera number three, and I'm gonna drag it to timeline as well, okay? So these are my three clips with their audio, okay? Uh, the last thing, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push this thing a little bit down. Uh, yeah, just make a room for my audio, okay? So this is my audio, if I can play it. By the way, our service is bilingual, so we have, um, uh, the main pastor preaching in English and we have another person translating in French, okay? So that's why basically I use three angles because I need a close-up on the main pastor, a close-up on the person translating and I need a wide angle covering both of them. Um, so this is my audio, this is my original audio. Time and okay. space and matter and energy. So as you can hear, it has a little bit of an issue. There's one uh, one microphone that was actually on the left side. If you have if you have headphones listening to this and the volume is kind of really, really low. OK, so but that's my raw audio. But when I bring it in, uh, I usually process it with Adobe Premiere, uh, sorry, Adobe Audition. And this is the final audio. Nous allons continuer à regarder uh, l'héritage. And we're going to do that by looking at some of the heroes of the faith. Et nous allons le... Okay, so I, I add a little bit of compression, uh, a little bit of EQ, 
you know and if you you like the sound of it let me know uh if you wanna know how i process my audio within adobe audition i will make another video about it okay so let's drag our audio so basically uh this was shot uh in two parts so this is part two um and i only need this part okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab part two okay and so once i have everything I have my main audio i have uh all my three clips okay i'm gonna go ahead and select everything right click and uh, choose synchronize okay all right so everything now is supposed to be in sync okay let's play a little bit just to make sure everything is in sync well good morning everyone Bon matin, tout le monde. We're going to continue looking at legacy. Nous allons continuer à regarder l'héritage. Uh, looking at some of the heroes of the faith. Et nous allons le faire en regardant à, à certains héros de la foi. And when I say by faith, it's important. Et lorsque je dis par la foi, c'est important. So if you have your Bibles at home, open them. To... So yeah, so usually what I do, I just um, kind of mute uh, one clip and listen to the others and actually at the same time i look at their lips you know just to make sure like all the audio clips are kind of matching and uh, everything matches with the image okay you always have to kind of double check okay so once i'm happy with that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go uh, let's just pick a moment where we start uh, everything where everything kind of starts okay well, good morning, everyone. Well, good morning. Well, so like somewhere here, okay. And I'm just gonna, you know, kind of hit shift. And so basically, the shortcut that I'm using on my keyboard is uh, C. So I uh, hit C, and it's gonna give me this uh, razor uh, tool. And then I'm gonna hit shift and kind of uh, choose anywhere on the timeline that i want to kind of um, cut so by doing shift it's gonna help me kind of kind of cut everything at the same time okay so once i'm done i'm just gonna delete the first uh all this part from uh on the left okay then i'm gonna right click repo delete push it to the beginning everything to the beginning okay then i'm gonna go at the end okay choose a point where i know of course i'm gonna have to listen to everything where they finish uh where they end the preaching and i'm gonna go do the same thing you know hit c to get the result tool you can get it from here by the way you don't have to use the shortcuts but i use shortcuts because it kind of speeds up my process and shift do the same thing and then delete everything here okay so by doing so i know i have a clean and neat um timeline uh with you, you know like all the clips kind of equal right so um now what i'm gonna do the next step is i'm gonna delete get rid of the bad audio from the cameras okay by selecting all the three audios okay and right click and go to oh wait a second oh i already did so i already unlinked because at first everything was linked so it was like this uh link okay so at first everything was linked so what i'm gonna do is just go right click and unlink everything okay and then i'm going to get rid of the bad audio because i don't need it anymore okay uh, as you can see, by the way, my, my clips are already color corrected, okay? This is another step that you have to kind of remember. Okay, so basically the next step is you're going to choose all the three clips, okay? And you're going to click, right click and choose next or click next, okay? And you can name this to anything you want. You can name it Sunday service. Okay, and then you click OK. Okay, so what it's going to do is going to 
take all the three clips and squeeze them into one clip okay we're gonna go ahead and right click to the next clip that we just created and go uh, <clears throat> select multi camera okay and and then click enable okay once you enable the multi camera now you have an option to switch uh between cameras okay now what you're seeing right now is uh just one angle okay but wait you go here if you go here on the top okay and then click uh select toggle multi-camera view okay if you don't have it don't panic you can go to to this uh plus uh sign here and then you find all the icons and it should be one of them so it's usually this one so you can click to it and it's gonna be added mine is already added so i don't need to do it again so okay so what you have to do click toggle multi-camera view and boom so now we have a view of all the cameras technically it's like a black magic design atm pro or any other uh live switcher and you have all the three cameras in front of you if you have five six cameras ten cameras they will appear here okay what i'm gonna do is i listen to the whole thing i watch the whole thing and be switching at the same time so watch me okay so this is how you're going to do it click uh play well good morning everyone Bon matin tout le monde. We're going to continue looking at legacy. Nous allons continuer à regarder uh, l'héritage. And we're going to do that by looking at some of the heroes of the faith. Et nous allons le faire en regardant à, à certains héros de la foi. And when I say by faith, it's important. Et lorsque je dis par la foi, c'est important. So if you have your Bibles at home, open them to Hebrews chapter 11. Si vous avez vos Bibles à la maison, ouvrez les. It's pretty simple. You just keep going like that. Let me just mute the, the track. Okay, just to give you an idea, like I keep going, just play. Okay, sit in my chair. Okay, and just this is one. Okay, Ash is talking. I'll go to two, and then let me show a wide angle of everybody. Go back to one. Oh, I messed up. So if I see there's a little problem, I can always go back. You know, I can always go back and let's say. That's what the problem was. So I'll go back and I know that that angle Finition de ce qu'est la foi. It's the assurance that you have. Il est une ferme assurance de ce que vous avez. Of all so the things you're hoping be. for. Toutes les choses en lesquelles vous espérez. While being convinced in your heart of those things. Pour lesquelles vous espérez tout en ayant la 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 conviction dans Even vos cœurs. Even though you can't see them yet. Même si vous vous les voyez toujours pas. Because you know the Lord. Alors, puisque vous connaissez le Seigneur, vous faites confiance à ses promesses. And so as we go down to verse four, Alors qu'on descend vers le chapitre, le verset 4, let's read together verse four and look at the light. So as you can see, I had the little, I was doing some adjustments on camera one, so I can see everything, so I know I'm going to avoid it uh, because it's not stable. So this is the cool part of uh, this method, okay? Uh, this is the part that I enjoy the most whenever I'm editing. Just relax, grab some coffee or some water, whatever, or some popcorn, and just, you know, just keep switching from one, two, three, three, two, one, three, two, like depending on who's talking, you know? But like, just a quick trick. I always try to stay, this is like my main angle, so I, I'm most of the time using this angle. And then I'll go to her because she's not the main, she's just translating. I just want to show the people there's somebody talking and not just hearing the voice and she's not on camera. So I go to her, but not that often. So I tend to use like 65% uh, this main angle, maybe 20% of this angle and maybe 25 you know something like that and maybe 15 percent of this uh the close-up on her okay so basically that's how i edit and then you keep going until the end okay so once you're done uh the whole thing is done all you you do if you have some other stuff to add you can add uh your announcements here so i just you know kind of copy everything 
you know, add my announcements or the intro and then add some worship here as well and add uh, some outro and that's it. If you, you done uh, and, you know, maybe you want to redo your color correction. So you can always go to your nest. Remember this, the nest that we created, which is a Sunday service and, and then click to it. Okay, and it should open okay and you have access to all the three clips okay you can make any adjustment that you want okay just make sure like you keep them the way you found them okay so don't try to kind of like uh, delete or you know cut or like do any crazy cuts on them just keep this way okay you can like they say if you want to access to clip number two you can you know kind of access it and let's say if you want to adjust some color on it okay they say if you can see they say i'm gonna just gonna remove the color correction on it just for fun and you 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 see what it's going to do on my multicam here i'm just gonna show you you know as you can see it has changed see the color is not the same okay so whatever you do here is going to affect the final output, okay? So this is how you can adjust. So, so let me put it back, okay? So yeah, so that's how uh, you can do it. So you have control of everything, you know? And whenever you're done, so remember you don't keep the multi-cam, uh, the multi-camera on, so you're gonna have to toggle off okay and it's gonna give you a full screen view and as you can see bon. play it. bon matin tout le monde we're going to continue looking at legacy nous allons continuer à regarder uh, l'héritage and we're going to do that by looking at some of the heroes of the faith et nous allons le faire en regardant à, à certains héros de la foi and when i say by faith you can go it... back to multicam if i want to you know, but this is your final, final thing. So you're gonna do the whole thing until you reach here at the end, and then, and then, yeah, that's it. You'll be done. So guys, this is how I do my editing. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna go here, export everything uh, all together with the, you know, worship of course, and add some intro and outros, announcements, and that kind of stuff, and export everything and publish on YouTube. Usually we do a premiere on youtube and if you need to learn anything let's say how i cover uh, my how i do my color grading and match cameras or how i process my audio whatever you need to learn guys put it down in the comments i'll be more than happy to make a video about it thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video take care